Hello and welcome to the IPL All-Star Game. I'm Sal Guitar, Commissioner of the IPL and Head Coach of the Milwaukee Muirs, and I am very pleased to welcome you in today's All-Star Game between the Sinnoh Conference All-Stars and the Hoenn Conference All-Stars. On the Sinnoh side, we've got Dion, head coach of the London Lanterns. They went 7-3 this season and made the championship game. And on the Hoenn Conference side, we have Richie coaching. He coached the Beach City Corfers, who went 4-6 and, and made the Hoenn Conference championship game. We've got lots of representatives on each side. We're going to see, we see the teams right now. We see Raikou coming in for um, the London Lanterns, along with Milotic, Lopini, Victini, Necrozma, and Greninja. And for the Beach City Corfish, we've got Greninja, Rotom Wash, Kieran Black, Zygarde, Scizor, and Tangrowth. So, we see Rotom Wash coming on from the Hoenn point of view, representing the Chicago Grand Bulls. And then we've got Victini. Ooh, with the final gambit! Both go down, <laughs> and in turn one, we love having fun in these all-star games, and that's exactly what we get in the first play. Victini, the representative from the Toledo Team Rockets, takes down the representative from the Chicago Grambles and Rotom Wash, and it's five on five now. Uh, we'll see what we go with next. We got Megalopony, who was originally drafted to the Milwaukee Mewers and then traded to the London Lanterns later in the season around week five. And we got Tangrowth coming out for the Beach City Corfish as a representative. Um, Slimefoot versus Kobe. Uh, Lot Mega Lopini goes for the Mega Evolved, goes for a substitute. We see a Toxic, it's missed. I apologize for some lagging. So we see <laughs> Megalopony is tightening its, fo tightening its focus, goes for a focus punch. Really fun stuff so far. Um, I apologize for some lag in the quality. I think um, I might not be running this display capture properly. But regardless, you know, I'm not going to be too formal in this commentary because uh, we're just having fun out here. That focus punch, you saw Megalopony tightening its focus on that first turn, then going in. It did only did 50% to Tangrowth because it's such a fat monster, but um, we see Ice Punch here. That does 35%. Substitute again on Richie's side. Um, really no switching so far. Um, why switch in an all-star game? Uh, obviously, Tangrowth doesn't have enough health to go for the substitute there, so he fails to do so. We'll see if we see a switch here. Um, we do finally see a switch. Scizor comes in, and Megalopony sets up the substitute. <laughs> um, and then Scizor comes in here, which was a representative of the uh, Hollywood Haluchas. Um, a disappointing season for the Hollywood Haluchas, only recording three wins. Um, they are the defending champions of the IPL, winning in Season 1. But they weren't able to get a great season here, but it's it'll be nice for Jared to see his scissor coming in. Bullet Punch comes in, fades, Focus Punch comes in, does 53%. <laughs> this sub-Focus Punch set is insane. Um, of course it gets that stab boost. And uh, Megalopony has that sky-high attack around 136, I think. Megalopony goes into Milotic. Milotic, originally uh, drafted as a Milwaukee Mewers player. Um, we see the Flame Orange set to get that um, competitive boost off. 1.5 times defense now for the Milotic. Sorry, I said competitive. I think I meant Marvel Scale. Competitive is the other... Is the other... Uh, <laughs> Variant where um, I believe for every stat lowered your special attack comes up or something like that But no, this would be a Marvel scale uh, flame orb set which does 1.5 times uh, the defense I know uh, my brother actually ran this set a couple times in the IPL. It's not a terrible set It's quite it's quite the thing when it gets burned um, Burn only it takes 6% now, so you know, it's even better nowadays uh, We're gonna see what it goes for scissor really can't touch this thing especially with that defense boost, so um, we're probably going to see Richie switch, and he does. He goes into the Chicago Grambles, Kieran Black. Kieran Black takes a Scald, no burn. Mel Melodic takes some burn damage.
Fusion Bolt comes in, does 71%. Mudsport, <laughs> electricity's power was weakened. <laughs> we'll see how much that really affects this game, but I don't think it will. Um, Milotic in range where a burn, burn will kill if it ever switches in. Um, but... Looks like this Milotic is kind of crippled now. We see a Roost coming in on the Kirin Black, a Toxic, as Milotic goes down to its burn damage. <sighs> we haven't seen Necrozma come out yet on uh, the Sinnoh All-Stars side of the field, but you had to bring Necrozma, probably the MVP, um, that will be decided later today, but uh, Necrozma, no question, has had a hell of a season. Uh, Matt, with the Toledo Team Rockets, ran plenty of creative sets, and um, you love to see that. Lopany Mega comes in here, can definitely one-shot with a fighting-type move. Retaliate comes in, 62%. I believe that's supposed to do more after a death. Power, yeah, retaliate. Power doubles of an ally fainted last turn. <laughs> so that did 140 damage. I mean, it still didn't do enough. Only did 62%, but... Um, it's better than return. It's definitely better than return. Return's base 102 power. Um, Greninja comes in with a low kick to damage uh, Slimefoot. Now, this Greninja would be a representative... This would be an Ash Greninja and a representative of... The uh, Columbus Shrew PC. Giga Drain coming in on the Necrozma of the Toledo Team Rockets. So yeah, so the Greninja on um, the Hoenn Conference All-Stars side of the field is most likely, uh, I mean, it has to be either Protean or Torrance, and Ash Greninja will be on the Sinnoh Conference All-Stars side. So Leech Seed coming in. Um, ban, please, <laughs> comes in. Tangrowth goes down, and... Um, uh, looks like we've got uh, four on three now. A signal beam coming in. I don't think we've seen Matt run that move yet. Z happy hour. What the heck is that? Okay, I really didn't know that was a move. Happy hour. That seems a bit inappropriate for a Pokemon game. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Seeing a lot of stuff that I've never seen before. <laughs> And now we've got Greninja, plus one in every stat, and Necrozma's going to go down to that Dark Pulse. You see Greninja coming in on, this will be, you know, Ash Greninja if it gets a kill here on the Torrent Greninja. Hydro Pump comes in, Gunk Shot comes in, and now we get the Battle Bond. Greninja, kind of a monster. Um, so, Raikou's gonna come in on the Scizor, Raikou, uh, a representative of the London Lanterns, I believe. This has been a lot of fun so far. I've seen a lot of stuff that I've never seen before, and uh, both teams just running pretty pretty cool sets. I think that uh, <laughs> Thunder coming in, of course it lands on the Scizor. <laughs> Zygarde comes in on the Hoenn Conference All-Stars side of the field. Zygarde was uh, of the Hollywood Haluchas. Aurasphere comes in. Doesn't do much. Um, and then Zygarde gets its Dragon, do, dragon Dance off. Thousand Arrows comes in. Um, now, I, I guess... Yeah, no. A thousand Arrows. <laughs> done. Greninja. Oh, well, so much stuff was happening and everyone was moving so fast. I don't even know like what happened in that battle. But I had a lot of fun watching it. I'll have to replay to see some of the more nuances. But uh, thank you so much for tuning into the All-Star game tonight. We've got 
the IPL Championship between the Toledo Team Rockets and the Byron Munchlax in a game that should be fantastic. We hope they both have great sets, really creative game plans, and a really intense game because um, it's been a while since we've seen an IPL Championship. It's been over three years, I think, so... Um, I'm really excited to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Stay tuned for more IPL YouTube channel videos, and we will see you next time. Thank you.